Look at the mistrust you have built in me. I, I know. I'm so on edge. I think we've scared you more than we've scared anybody on the show, which is saying a lot. We've Stop laughing. I can hear you behind those. <laughs> it's not funny. It's very funny. <laughs> and then we just got you backstage just now. We'll show that in a minute. Or we should show it now? Yeah, yeah. show it now. Yeah. This is on his way to his chair. Just, just now. Just now. Just happened. To... Look at me. I'm suspicious. Oh! Oh! I knew it. Let's go. I knew it. I knew that was coming right there. I saw that box right as it happened. Yeah. Well, we had to. Yeah. Because you're expecting it here. This is your table. We built this table for you. Nobody's in there. Stop it! Wait, nobody's in there. We built it for you, and we knew that you would expect it out here, so we had to do it there. I appreciate it. Thank but, you. Hey, let's talk about something other than scaring you. Congratulations, you are now engaged. I am engaged. <laughs> yes. Let's just, you, it's hilarious what you did. Okay, so you posted a picture yeah. of your beautiful fiance, yep. and then people said what? Well, they said, well, are you marrying your daughter there? I'm like, I can't help it that she looks great for her age. We're, only, we're, we're literally eight years apart. Like, that's, that's, that, that's, that's nothing. That's what it is. Yeah. And I can't help it that I look like apparently an old coal miner or something. <laughs> so, I mean, after a couple days of people just light, lighten me up, I decided, well, maybe this will make uh, the world feel better. So you aged your, your fiancé. Look at what he posted after this. <laughs> She's going to age very well. She yeah. looks great. She's great. You know, I, I've won a lot in life. You know, you mentioned those trophies that I won before I came out here. But she's, I, I, I'm definitely win with Lindsay. She's an amazing person. And I'm, I'm so thankful that uh, we met five years ago now. I think it's five. I don't remember. <laughs> well, I'm happy that you're happy. It's all that, love is all that matters. Yep. I'm so happy Thank for you. you. Um, you brought uh, the video of your proposal, yeah. which I haven't seen yet. I want to see it. Oh, it, it, it's, it's great. And I knew I had to do something special because I, I prank her a lot. I don't know if, if you guys know that. I, she's very patient with me. But uh, I wanted to get her somehow with the proposal in addition to proposing. So I told her that a company was interested in us doing like some social media posts together so that she would do her hair and her makeup and look as beautiful as she wanted to look for this moment. Uh, included uh, her boys, she has twin boys, Reed and Everett, and um, sat down in front of the camera, set up a couple extra cameras on the side so that we could capture this moment. All right, and then we're going to talk about what you do to her, this poor woman all the time. I mean, you really do prank her. So here's the proposal. Okay, okay perfect. Here we go. No, I was just thinking this year we could do something bigger, something different. Mommy, Mr. Eric has a question for you. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Will you marry me? What? What? Are you being serious right now? Yeah. Is this all a joke? Uh-huh. Did you know? Yeah. So... Oh my god. Yeah, yes. Oh my god. Yeah. That, that, that's really sweet. It was, it was great. I can't even, I, Andy told me some of the things that you do to her at night. You, I crunch loud things in bed, like I'll, I'll, I'll set corn, corn nuggets or uh, corn nuts up on my nightstand and then once she, I know she's asleep, then I'll start eating corn nuts. <laughs> I have a mini accordion that I set next to my bed one night and she's like, what in the hell is that? I'm like, I'm practicing my mini accordion. I love that she says like, why do you even have a mini accordion? That's my favorite. Anyway, but, all kinds of stuff. But she, she doesn't get mad. She's asleep, and you start eating corn nuts when you know she's asleep? Well, yeah. I mean, that's the whole point, is to, <laughs> to keep, keep life interesting and fun. You know this. I know, but it's a show, and it's one hour a day. I can't imagine living with someone that would play the accordion when I'm going to sleep. I, yeah, I remember literally on, the, I think, the second season of Modern Family, one of the creators asked me, Eric, how many hours a day do you dedicate messing with other people? Yeah. I've never forgot that he asked me that question because as I thought about it, it's a substantial 
Clearly. Amount of time. Clearly. Cl it really yeah. is. It is fun, though. It does keep you young, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yes, I like it. Hey, we have to take a break, Eric. Uh, we're going to come back, and we'll just keep trying to scare you the whole show. We're back with Eric Downstreet. That's from Domino Masters. So it's a new show, and, you know, we've seen this happen once in a while, but there are that many people who are that good at it that there's a show? Surprised by it as well. But, uh, you know, when they asked me to do it, I ran it by the boys you saw earlier, Reed and Everett. They knew all about toppling. I'm a huge fan of Rube Goldberg and Chain Reaction YouTube videos yeah. that I've seen, you know, where they, one thing, and then the, 10 minutes later, they're knocking stuff over in yeah. their backyard. I love all that stuff. Yeah. Big Hot Wheels fan, and that they incorporate that. So I was immediately interested because, you know, I love watching people put it all on the line. And for these people that are so dedicated to domino toppling, for Fox to say, your passion matters and we're going to make a TV show about it, I was really excited to see them excited for that moment. And $100,000. Yeah, and hundred grand. So... So is, is 16 hours the average or the longest that it takes? To, I mean, I heard that it takes 16 hours to set it up. Yeah, they have 16 hours and over a million dominoes and tons of other things at their disposal to build these themes each week on a 400-foot platform, okay? 16 hours over three days. Now, the crazy thing is, is they might spend six hours building the first day but then have to leave that night. Well, hello, we're shooting next to the Santa Monica Airport. Right? So there's noise and rumblings going on. And then also, have you heard of earthquakes? So they leave these dominoes set up in these tedious situations in hopes when they come back that it's not all knocked over. Things that, I didn't think of when I said yes to the. Well, <laughs> or they didn't think of building next to the airport. Right. Um, but that's crazy. That's amazing. It is. It's great. I say the show is like camping, it's intense. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, it's yeah, good, right? It's. it's it's spelled differently, but I did yes, get it. Yes, it's an old day. It's, I'm 50. It's, it's a wonderful, yeah. yeah. Here we go. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> hey, um, how's everybody at Modern Family? Are you talking to everybody still? Oh, uh, no. That was... <laughs> I didn't really care for a lot of those people. Yeah, no. yeah. Um, no, we, we are all still very close. You know, the crazy thing is, is I haven't seen them in two years. I've seen Julie... Uh, Lindsay's been over to Jesse's house when I was here shooting, but I was never able to see and meet Jesse's baby. But Ed and I talk all the time, and we have the group text going all the time. Yep. Ed just constantly is texting me about how I would cook something. And then he <laughs> likes to show me a new knife that he bought for his collection. Uh -huh. He's a knife collector. <laughs> Ed's classic, like 100% yeah. classic. Yeah. But we are in touch via text messages. Yeah. And that's, we, that was such a great show. Such, and it's still on, so it's, that's good. Yes. For everybody, for you. Still on. Um, all right, we're going to take a break, and we're going to look back at some of our favorite moments with Eric after this.